They say comparison is the thief of joy. One of the biggest roadblocks to the path of personal development is the habit of constantly comparing yourself to others. Social media makes it all too easy to fall into the trap of measuring your success against somebody else's highlight reels. You may have heard of the iceberg analogy. It's when you look at an iceberg, but you really only see the tip of it. It's when you see what's above the water level. What you don't see is how vast the iceberg is under the water. It's like looking at somebody else's success as the tip of the iceberg without looking at their blood, sweat, and tears that it took to be successful, representative for what's under the water. What we don't know is what it took to the level of personal wealth, radiant happiness, or perhaps an amazing body that sparks pangs of jealousy. But remember this, everyone is on their own unique journey, facing different challenges and victories. We don't all come from the same start line. Some of us had a nurturing home with parents who provided for everything, including the garage that it took to build that $1 billion startup, while others were born with amazing athletic ability or simply a striking runaway beauty. But instead of comparing, Focus on your own progress, celebrate your wins, and learn from your setbacks, because those are your controllables. And if you can learn to love your journey, it will be much easier to stop comparing yourself to others. I'll leave you with this quote. The only person you should try to be better than is the person you were yesterday. Which brings me to the next point, overthinking. Analysis, paralysis is a real thing. And it's probably one of the things I personally struggle with the hardest. I oftentimes want to research things to a T and have the perfect answer before I jump into action. However, perfection is the enemy of progress and overthinking goes hand in hand with perfectionism. Overthinking can paralyze your decision-making process and hinder your personal growth. It's time to break free from the chains of endless contemplation. Trust your instincts. If you're watching this, you've been probably on this earth for 15 plus years. Go with your gut instinct and make gut decision. Embrace the lessons that you've learned while walking this earth. Here's a story about the perfect photograph. Once upon a time, a very smart college professor tasks even smarter students to take the perfect picture of an object. However, he decided to split the class in two groups. One group was only allowed to take one picture of the object and they had 10 days of time. The other group had the same amount of time, but this group was allowed to take as many pictures as they wanted and pick the picture they thought was best out of all the pictures they took. Now, can you guess which group produced the best picture of these objects? And while you're thinking, please don't overthink this. Just drop the video a quick like and subscribe to my channel as this will allow us to continue our conversation in the future. Without fail, it was the group that was allowed to take as many pictures as they wanted. This goes to show that the iterative process of learning by doing trumps overthinking things. So if you struggle with this issue, allow yourself to jump into action and make mistakes and don't demand of yourself to be perfect. Don't let the fear of making the wrong move hold you back. Life's a series of experiences and each one contributes to your growth and development. Let's talk about procrastination for a moment. It's a silent dream killer. We've all been there, putting off tasks until the last minute or delaying our ambitions. It's time to bid farewell to procrastination. Break your goal into smaller, manageable steps and tackle them one at a time. One of my mentors said to me, you can eat an elephant one bite at a time. In a sense, that's disgusting, since I love elephants, but it drives home a point that breaking things down into smaller steps can help with the overwhelm that can come along when facing scary or unenjoyable tasks. My personal pet peeve is cleaning. I'm a fairly organized person, but I hate cleaning. So what I do is I break it into smaller steps. Sometimes I'll just say, I'll clean my desk. Once I've cleaned my desk, I'll decide if I wanna continue cleaning. If I feel pumped, then I move on to cleaning the kitchen. If my kitchen is too overwhelming, I might just clean my kitchen sink. You get the drift. It's the same with working out. Do I love working out or going to the gym? Not really, but I do love the results. I love how I feel afterward physically and mentally. But since I want to procrastinate often, I have to trick my mind into taking smaller steps. I tell myself, if I get to the gym 10, 15 minutes and do one set of push-ups, one set of pull-ups, one set of squats, one set of bicep, one set of tricep, I may be done. Oftentimes I get into the activity and that's when the energy starts flowing. And then 
all of a sudden are motivated to grind through a seemingly mundane task or repetitive task like working out or cleaning. So if you find yourself procrastinating often, take the smallest things that you can tackle and start on that. Have you ever been afraid to fail? Failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of it. It's time to reframe your perspective on failure. Embrace it as a stepping stone toward growth. In the startup world, they say, fail fast and fail forward, which means it's doubtful that anybody ever was successful by waiting for the perfect condition before starting. Really, it's a cute way of saying, Learn by doing. Understand there will be failures and keep moving forward instead of wasting time. Failure teaches us valuable lessons, build resilience and fuels personal development. Reed Hoffman, renowned internet entrepreneur said, if you aren't embarrassed by the first version of your product, you shipped it too late. And we can all learn from that. So don't let the fear of failure hold you back from trying new things and pursuing your passions. Remember, every setback is an opportunity for a comeback. With all that said, it's easy to forget self-care, and it might be the most important point. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, it's easy to neglect self-care. As somebody who works full-time, creates content on the site, and deals with real estate investments, I understand that taking care of your mental and physical well-being is crucial. It's so easy not to prioritize wellness, and what I mean by that is not decompressing at home to social media, TV, and alcohol, but rather activities that profoundly balance your stress levels. In an ideal world, they also bring you joy and relaxation. Whether it's a quiet moment with a book, journaling, a walk in nature, connecting with friends, or indulging in a creative hobby, prioritize self-care. A healthy balance you is better equipped to handle life's challenges and pursue your goals and dreams. Drop me a note in the comments and let me know which challenge you wanna get better with next. Your future self will thank you for it. And if you wanna get into a better mindset, check out this playlist here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the flip side. Peace.